Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the re-entrant cavities. Re-entrant cavities. Re-entrant cavities are nothing but these are your normal uh, waveguides, waveguide resonators. We can say all the these uh, re-entrant cavities are also acting as resonators, which are made up of waveguides, but their internal architecture and uh, structure is different okay they are especially designed to increase the capacitance and inductance action within the waveguide okay these are the sample uh, structures of this re-entrant cavities which is in the uh, which has the internally uh, given with a separate um, space here see here this is the sorry See, this is the area where the signal can enter inside and again it takes multiple paths here and again coming out. This multiple paths taken over here and it is coming out. Okay, because of this multiple paths it will be excited internally with a number of oscillations so that some resonance is going to be generated. Okay, it is having specific dimensions like 2A and this from here to here it is 2B, some length L. Okay. Now, so for a cavity resonator at a microwave frequency, it is necessary that the inductance and capacitance have to be considerably reduced. So for a cavity resonator at microwave frequency, it is necessary to reduce to reduce the inductance and capacitance so that it maintains resonance at operating frequency it maintains a resonance yet operating frequency so such a cavity resonator such a cavity resonator where the metallic boundaries where the metallic boundaries will extend into will extend into the interior of the cavity the interior of the cavity <coughs> are, are called are called re-entrant re-entrant cavities so if you observe the shape is different it is internally having uh, some space or boundaries uh, which are extended into the interior okay so that those are known as re-entrant uh, re cavities as in the case of coaxial cavity okay they are shown in this figure this is the example figure i have shown so re-entrant cavities are similar to the coaxial line are shorted at two ends and joined at the center by a capacitance action okay it's like your coaxial cable when it is the when the coaxial cable has been cut and joined at the <coughs> two ends some capacitance action is going to be created at that so such a re-entrant cavity can support infinite number of resonant frequencies. One more important point is infinite number of resonant frequencies. Infinite number of resonant frequencies can be created in the Re-entrant cavity. In re-entrant cavity. 
okay so in reentrant cavities the inductance and resistance are reduced because of this halo scoops within that reentrant cavity so it because of this structure because of that structure what happens inductance and resistance and as well as capacitance also are reduced in reentrant cavities okay so the coaxial cavity may be considered as a coaxial line shorted at the two ends we are forming this reentrant cavity now applying this uh, uh, some transmission line theory in order to obtain the uh, what is it characteristic equation like uh, z naught characteristic impedance z naught so apply transmission line theory so z naught is equal to z naught is equal to how we can write z naught 1 by 2 pi square root of mu by epsilon ln of b by a ohms z naught characteristic impedance units are ohms so the input impedance input impedance of shorted line is so input impedance of this shorted line nothing but a coaxial line if it is shorted at the either ends we are writing the input impedance z in is equal to j z naught tan beta l l indicates the length of the what, what do you mean by l where l length of reentrant cavity if in case of reentrant cavities you can write it as reentrant cavity or in case of coaxial cable you can write it as length of the coaxial cable or length of coaxial cable okay so z in is equal to j into z naught so substitute z naught here j into 1 by 2 pi square root of mu epsilon ln of b by a tan beta l okay so the inductance l of the cavity is given by the inductance l of the cavity is given by l is equal to 2 z in by omega is equal to what do you mean by z in substitute 1 by pi omega ln of b by a tan inverse of tan of beta l okay from these transmission lines we are writing all these equations so capacitance of gap is gap is nothing but where the uh, what is that uh, reentrant cavities are connected okay internally we are having some gap that capacitance gap is having cg that cg gives the capacitance due to that gap is given by given by cg is equal to epsilon epsilon pi a square by t epsilon pi a square by t epsilon a by d actually what is the formula epsilon a by d that a is nothing but pi a square and divided by t t is nothing but thickness okay so at resonance at resonance omega l is equal to 1 by omega cg 
sorry omega l omega into l is equal to 1 by omega cg okay that means uh, reactive components of these two are equal which is nothing but uh, capacitive reactance is equal to inductive reactance at this particular resonance so 1 by pi root over mu by epsilon ln of b by a tan beta l is equal to t by omega mu epsilon pi a square so tan beta l tan beta l is equal to t by omega a square root over 1 by mu epsilon into 1 by ln of b by a okay so therefore a tangent function a tangent function tan beta l finally we have got the equation for tan beta l so this tangent function has infinite number of infinite number of solutions therefore there will be infinite number of frequencies or modes which gives resonant frequency of the resonant frequency of coaxial cavity coaxial cavity okay so this is what the reentrant cavities and how to calculate the tangential value that is beta into tan of beta into l so what we have done in this we have seen what is the shape of the reentrant cavity here i have shown one example there are several uh, shapes available for this reentrant cavities so for this reentrant cavity what happens so the resistance and capacitance or inductance can be reduced by uh, having a different shape where that shape gives the uh, infinite number of resonant frequencies okay so later we have taken the transmission line theory from this theory we have calculated the a characteristic equation z naught formula we have taken later it has been substituted in the into input uh, impedance and finally we have got the equation for the tangential value of beta l okay this is reentrant cavities thank you